Hello everyone, I am Subham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series of DSCH software. Okay, so in today's lecture we are going to see how to make AND and OR gate using CMOS. So for that what we are going to do is we are going to use our NAND and OR gates and we are going to add an inverter, okay, which we have created before. So uh, this is a NAND gate which we have created in the previous video. As you can see here uh, the working that is uh, when both the inputs are 1 the output is 0 and even if one of the input is 1 or both the inputs are 0 the output is 1. So this is our NAND gate and now to make the AND gate from NAND gate what we need to do is we need to add the inverter towards the output. Okay. So what I am going to do is I am going to uh, insert an inverter as well. Okay. insert for that just go to insert and just select all files because uh, we have not made a symbol for the inverter and we are going to insert our inverter uh, CMOS inverter okay so let's see if it allows us to insert the inverter and you see here is our inverter okay so just remember while inserting the user symbol Okay, you need to select all files because our inverter is a schematic file not a symbol file because we have not created a symbol yet. So if you uh, select only its symbol then it will not show the inverter.sch file alright. So that's why we can, uh, selected this uh, all files. So now we will be connecting it here. Okay, let's just move it. Okay, it is a move option besides copy and now I am moving it here. Yeah. So now we have con connected the inverter to the output of the NAND gate. Okay, so it becomes basically not AND. Uh, sorry, uh, it is an AND gate and then it again becomes a complement due to the inverter and thus it will function exactly like the AND gate. So let us just uh, run the simulation. And when we run the simulation, we can see when both the inputs are 0, the output is 0. When any one of the input is 0, uh, any one of the input is 1, the output is again 0. But when both the inputs are 1, the output becomes 1. Alright. So this is how our AND gate functions. Okay. And the working is same uh, for the NAND gate part. Okay. After that, what happens when the output goes? It just basically goes through an inverter and exact same working for the inverter and thus we get the, uh, this as the output. So this is all for NAND gate and now we are going to, uh, this is all for AND gate sorry. Yeah this is the AND gate and we are going to see the OR gate in action. Alright. So first of all I will delete everything here. Okay uh, I could have uh, saved the inverter. Anyway we will add it again. So I will just open another schematic. Okay, I will open the NOR gate. So here is our NOR gate. You can see two PMOS in series and the NMOS is in parallel. And we'll be using this and we'll be adding an inverter. Similarly, the same way we did in the NAND gate. Okay, so I'm going to insert symbol and all files uh, we need to select all files because it is .sch file okay you can see here it is inverter .sch that is schematic and just select open okay so here we have our inverter and i have pasted it here so i will just delete this input and now i need to make this connection yeah, so now this is our OR gate that is NOR gate plus an inverter and that turns out to be the OR gate. So let us run the simulation to see if it is working fine. Alright, so you see when both the inputs are 0, the output is 0. When any of the input is 1, the output is 1. I can uh, give 1 to the other input and 0 to the previous one. Again, the output is 1 and when both are 1, the output still remains 1 that is our OR gate. Okay. 
so this is how our nor uh, nor gate or gate and and gate works okay and that's how we create or and and gate using nor and and gates okay uh, that is why nand nor and not gate that is the not that is the inverter these are the universal gates because using these gates we can uh, design any of the gates all right any of the gates any circuit we can design so uh, from uh, in the next video we will see how to create xor and xnor gates okay and after that we will jump to combinational circuits in between we will also see uh, to create the symbols of these gates because you know like i added this inverter uh, this was a big circuit okay and uh, let's say at some point i want to add this and gate this whole or gate okay then it will be a very big circuit to add so we will just create a symbol for this okay so that we can uh, we will be able to reuse the symbol and then uh, when we will be doing insert symbol we don't have to uh, select all files because we will be creating the symbol and we will be directly adding the symbol file to our schematic so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video